Hello, it's me, Sarah V. I've wanted to make this video for about sort of two months or so. I think, you know, it's still just as relevant as ever. Korea at the moment is doing quite well. Most cases are under 50 a day. Australia's doing well, but in other parts of the world, the numbers for this are just astounding. And so I wanted to make this little video for things that we're doing here in Korea to help stop the spread, to help kind of prevent ourselves getting it, to help prevent passing it on if you're someone who unknowingly has it. This video here is not me saying do this and you won't catch it, because obviously staying at home is the best thing to do. <laughs> but obviously, you know, people have to go out at some points. Some places aren't on lockdown. Korea, there's no lockdown here. Uh, they encourage social, di social distancing, but everyone is still going about their daily lives here. But this is what we are doing as preventative measures with it. Before I even get into any of this video, can I firstly thank Yes Style for sending me a bunch of personal hygiene items that can be used to help protect yourself. I'll put links to everything below. Yeah, links down below if you guys want. I also have an affiliate code if you guys want 10% off, feel free to use that. Um, if you'd rather use someone else's, that's cool too. I had said to Yesstar that I wanted to make a video on coronavirus personal protection. I don't even know how to label this, but personal hygiene. When I told them that my mum was a nurse in Australia and that her and her co-workers weren't being supplied with adequate personal protection, they said straight away, we'll, we'll send her $400 worth of masks for her to use and to share with her co-workers. So a massive thanks to yes Style for sending my nurse mum in Australia $400 worth of these K94 protective masks. So thank you so much to YesStyle because I was panicking. I think a lot of people who have family at the moment in any type of essential work, whether that is working at a grocery store, being a nurse like my mom, a doctor, a cleaner, anything remotely in those kind of jobs, you're being exposed to a lot of people every day and particularly working in a hospital. Um, and then to hear that my own mom didn't have, uh, wasn't being provided with face masks. I was in shock and in Korea they sell famous face masks quite freely here but they made a new rule that you couldn't send them overseas so I couldn't send her any myself to help her because obviously Koreans needed them here. So yes, a big, big, big thank you to Yes Style for sending them to mum and her co-workers. Having my mum being a nurse and me coming back to Korea and then finding out that she doesn't have, that she, uh, that her hospital, like our government's not providing her with the proper protective gear, that that broke my heart. I had told them about my mum and, and uh, my sadness with that and you straight away, oops, and straight away they said, oh, we'll send her $400 worth of masks. It's, yes, so I'm so thankful to that because my mum, when I told her that she was getting $400 worth of masks in the mail for her and her, and her co-workers, the relief in her voice was immense. Anyway, step one in Korea is masks. In the past in Korea, masks were very popular for the pollution because there are certain days where the pollution it reaches a dangerous level. So if you're going outside, you do really need a mask. However, now with Corona, it's become very standard to wear one just going about your daily life. Also in Korea, you are not allowed to get on most public transport at the moment without a mask. For the subway, buses, you can be turned down if you're not wearing a mask. A lot of buildings you have to wear a mask. So the only place you'll sort of see people without masks is walking in uh, sort of quieter suburbs or where people are eating. So I have a few different options of masks that I thought I would go through. This first one is called Lara Puff. And if you follow my Korean channel, Hoju Sara, you would have seen this one before. It is probably the one I wear most daily. So it looks like this, it's actually a fabric one, which is handmade. I got this one given to me last year and it was spruiked as being one that doesn't make your makeup rub off as much. But if you'll see, there's actually parts there so it's, it fits quite around your nose quite well. I'd say it's a pretty stylish mask if you're gonna go post-apocalyptic fashion. Here is what you do, it has the pink trim, which I love pink. This fabric makes it a lot softer because some of the paper masks can make you break out. But that being said, wearing masks daily is very irritating for your skin. Most of the people I know are now getting breakouts around here. You know, if you work at a cafe, you've got to wear that the whole day and it gets very humid here and yeah, you just break out and it's irritating. Anyway, this one is definitely one of the least irritating and the masks, it actually has filters that you can wear a couple of times and then remove and replace them with this. So it's a lot more environmentally friendly than using a whole 
mask, like the one I'm about to show you next. Because this one you have to use it and throw the whole mask away, which feels quite wasteful, but also it's a hard position because you have to protect yourself and others, and masks is what's recommended for that in Korea. So yeah, so I like this one because I was using it as a pollution mask before. It's great because it f forms a really good seal, but um, it is very stuffy and it's getting really hot now. We're getting days over 30 degrees Celsius here in Korea at the moment. And this is getting very, very hot and stuffy. So that's the only downfall to it, but the positive is that you can just switch out the filters. The rest is reusable. You can wash it in between and it's very comfortable and looks quite cool. The next one is my one of my other favorites as well because this one forms quite a good seal. This is the Dobu mask, which it's a bit more breathable because it's got this little, you can see there, it's got a little flap. So that blue part can go out when you breathe. It's also got a little bit of foam here on the nose and a little piece of metal inside. So you can make that fit the bridge of your nose a little bit better. This one, the ears are quite tight. So I actually wore one of these on my flight back from Australia, which was back in mid-March. I wore this on the flight back with Singapore Air. So I wore this the whole two flights back and it made my ears really very sore, but it's tight so it forms a better seal, so that's good. However, they do actually come with a clip that, so then you can tie it around and clip it that way. Which I didn't realize at the time when I threw the clip out. I'd originally bought them because of the Australian bushfires. I went to Australia in December and I came back in March. So I bought these for the bushfires because Australia was on fire and the, the bushfire smoke had reached Brisbane. And by the time I got there, the smoke had died down so we didn't use them. But then Corona happened on the way back. So in a strange, coincidence I had a little st a small stack of these. This one is a great option because it has the little vent here, it sticks very well and there's a lot of space for your nose here. So I personally find this quite comfortable and I don't find the fabric very irritating compared to some of the other ones and it's sort of like a medium amount of stuffy here. Also black, very very fashion. A little bit like a bird beak it reminds me. Now lastly these are probably the ones I think I'll be wearing more in the summertime. And now these are the ones that I got from YesStyle. These ones come in two colors. I'll, if they don't have these ones on the site, I will put the closest ones down that I can find because there's a few different types. But these are your standard ones with, I think they've got the four or five pleats there. These are a lot more breathable, but it is harder to get a seal around the edge. These are all KF94. These ones come with a hook as well, so you can clip them up behind your head rather than your ears. I really like these ones for how comfortable they are. These are definitely the most breathable. So I've got a little stack of these. Thank you, yes, style. I will say though, in Korea, if you buy masks, they have made a mask rationing system at the moment. So masks are only about $1.50, $2 each if you get them from the pharmacy. However, to get them, you need a Korean, you need Korean uh, health, national health insurance. So for people on holidays, they, that's not possible to get those. However, now there's less de demand for the masks. You can actually see them popping up in shops and they're only about, you know, two, three dollars each. So that's good for people who are visiting or people that don't have that insurance. That being said, with masks in Korea being about, you know, two, one to three dollars each, these ones on YesStyle are about seven dollars each, which is quite a lot for a mask, I think. So the only downside to this is the price. I do think that they are overpriced just because they can be because people need them. So I'll have a look on YesStyle, see if I can find some cheaper ones. If I can, I will link them below as well. So that's the starter. Next up is hand sanitizer. Everyone went crazy in Australia when I was there in March and you could not get hand sanitizer anywhere. My mum could only get her hand on this tiny little, little bottle. This is like the beauty girl thing, but with like hand, size, hand sanitizer. My coronavirus routine. So this is the tiny one my mum bought. That's nearly used up. I used a lot of that on the plane. And then these ones I got from Yes Style. I've given some to a couple of friends. It's 70% ethanol with some aloe extract. I think a lot of the hand sanitizers are pretty similar as this one's great because they're not too big. You can fit them in your bag, a little pump action there. Korea actually has a lot of hand sanitizer. It's everywhere. If you go into the shops, you can buy big ones for your house. Every restaurant I've been in has hand sanitizer so you can use theirs before you eat. Hand sanitizer is on buses. It is in a lot of elevators. A lot of elevators also have the little 
It's like an anti bacteria film they put over the buttons now. In Korea, you almost don't need to buy hand sanitizer because it's everywhere. However, I still carry around a, a hand sanitizer because Corona. <laughs> the other thing is also alcohol wipes, antibacterial wipes. This one is a Kleenex one that mum managed to find in Australia. So I brought that one back with me. And this is one I got off Yes Style as well, which is the JM Solution antibacterial wipes. So these are really good for if you want to put them in your bag and take them with you. I like to do the door handles at home sometimes because when I get home, I wash my hands straight away. But it's just good to kind of do that every now and then to try and stay on top of it. You'll be wiping over a lot of things you touch. I've also delicately wiped over my phone with this, but I worry <laughs> about using these kind of wet wipes on phones. So I have something else that I got instead for my phone, which I'll show you in a second. But next in the soap one, this is the coolest thing I found on Yes Style. This little doodad. Prepare yourself. It's soap, literally sheet soap. So you know when you go into a public bathroom sometimes and there's no soap left? Or sometimes Korea had these, it's like soap on us, it's a metal stick and so it's like a bar of soap on a metal stick you have to like rub your hand over and it's always wet and dripping and I wonder if that has more bacteria than it actually cleans. So I'm not a big fan of using those ones but sometimes you go in and the push soaps are all run out and so I got this and they actually come, they come in a pack of five so I got two packs of five so I can give these to a bunch of my friends as well because one pack goes quite a long way and it's only for when you don't have soap and I've actually found since coronavirus most Korean bathrooms have soap in the past sometimes people would I think you know kind of let them run empty and not refill them for a while um, as happens anywhere <laughs> but I've known people have been really on top of filling their soap dispensers so I've only actually had to use this once since I got it but yeah I thought that was very cool I had something like this when I was in primary school and it, I love it. So it looks like a piece of paper, but it literally, it when you wet it, it dissolves and froth, froths up. The next one is ta -da! my vitamins. I know not everyone likes vitamins, so that's okay. This is not me saying take your vitamins. This is me saying I like to take vitamins. <laughs> Depending on your stance on vitamins, you know, there's supplements as well. Some people think they boost your immune system. I tend to think so. But my mum brought me a bought me a bunch of vitamin C. This one's the Blackmore's sustained release, which means it releases vitamin C over eight hours, I think, which gives your body time to absorb it. These are also effervescent tablets. And then this is one of my favorites is propolis. Nothing will outdo a bad diet, but in addition to a, a good diet, I quite like vitamin C and propolis. And then lastly, this is probably my favorite, antivirus. It's actually an LED light sterilizer. It looks like this. There's a cord that connects to it. And the legs pop out like this. And that's actually lights on the bottom. So when you plug it in and you turn the button on, blue light comes out and you can sterilize your phone. There is phone ones that actually come in an enclosed box and this one is not that. What you do is you actually put this back in the box and you put that on top like that and you can turn it on. There's a long and a short setting for it. And so in Korea, they were rationing masks to two per week. So a lot of people had to make the, the two masks last a week. These ones you can wear multiple times, but I, what I was doing in between for extra, extra protection or extra cleanliness, I would put the mask in the box and I would put this above it and I would turn it on for a cycle and it goes for about three minutes and uh, ta-da! What is it? The UVC LED beams kill all the bacteria on it or most of the bacteria on it. It's hard, I mean with these ones it's sometimes hard to believe that they work because you can't see it working but actually after you put the mask on again it smells cleaner. It, uh, it sounds weird to say it smells like it's been cooked. If you've ever been to a South Korean food court they often have water dispensers and next to them they will have a sort of stainless steel with a glass door cabinet I guess with a bunch of steel cups in them or aluminium cups and they have the light cleaners in that as well I think it's UV light and so those ones have been used for quite a while for killing bacteria on the outside of objects and so this one I really like again I'll put all the links below the only 
downside with this one is that you have to keep it in the box, which I didn't realize. I, that's a little bit um, frustrating turning it on and putting it in the box. I thought you could just kind of put it there. Yeah, so this was just a little video showing, wanted to show you things that I'm doing to help personal hygiene in Corona times. Like the last few months, this year, to be honest, has been wild in the strangest of ways. So much is going on and then specifically Corona related. So even though, you know, there might be not, not a lot that we can do as individuals, I think we can do lots of small things and that is using your hand sanitizers, using a mask when you go out. And so if you can't buy a mask in the stores where you are, Yes Style does sell them. Again, some of them are a little bit expensive. That being said, I've seen a lot of people DIYing their own masks, which is definitely better than nothing. Anyway, um, today's video, that was that. I'm sorry that I might not be as up as I normally am. I've been a little bit down the last few months and I didn't want to make a video being like, oh, I'm sad because everyone's sad and I don't think I'm special for being sad or that, you know, I didn't really want to put a piece of content out there to add to that type of content. So I thought at least this one's a little bit helpful. I can let you know that I'm, you know, doing my best to get on top of things. But yeah, things are doing better now. I'm excited to get like a lot more content out for you guys. I want to do a lot more home content. And if you want to see any certain videos in Korea as well, let me know because Korea is not on a lockdown. We can still go out. It's just, again, taking these sort of precautions here is important. But you know, life in Korea is still pretty much the same as before it's just a little bit quieter in places so yeah let me know what you guys want to see uh thank you for listening today and um if you guys are feeling a bit sad too cheer up and i'll cheer up too oh how about we do this in the comments leave leave a comment saying one nice thing you thought today or one nice thing that happened to you today because i think we all need to hear about a few nice things at the moment yeah all right guys see you next time bye